Friends, you never know who you'll touch in life. You never know how or when you'll have an impact or how important your example can be to someone else. My faith helps me understand that circumstances don't dictate my happiness or my inner peace. The chances you take, the people you meet, the people you love, the faith that you have, that's what's going to define you. You have to be who you are in this world, no matter what. At the end of the day, my friends, it's not about what you have or even what you've accomplished. It's about what you've done with those accomplishments. It's about who have you lifted up? Who have you made better? It's about what you've given back to those people. I think, personally, a role model is a mentor, someone who you see on a daily basis and you learn from them. My faith taught me how to forgive. Faith taught me when people present themselves in a certain way, there's probably some backstory or issue or reason for the way that they are acting. It's not you, my friends. It's them. And a lot of times, it's about something that's completely out of their control. Put God first. I've been protected. I've been directed. I've been corrected. <clears throat> I've kept God in my life and it's kept me humble. I didn't always stick with him, but he always stuck with me. Don't be afraid to think outside the box. Don't be afraid to fail big to dream big, but remember, dreams without goals are just dreams, and they ultimately fuel disappointment. And understand, to achieve these goals, you must apply discipline and consistency. You'll never see a U-Haul behind a hearse. It's not how much you have in life. It's about what you do with what you have. It That's where the success is in helping others. Say thank you in advance for what's already yours. That's how I live my life. True desire in the heart for anything good is God's proof to you sent beforehand to indicate that it's yours already. My advice is this, and it's simple. Don't just aspire to make a living. Friends, aspire to make a difference. And may God bless each and every one of you, and take good care. Bye-bye now. Morning, good morning, good morning. The most important thing to do first thing in the morning is to get yourself a, in a powerful state. Happy, 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 happy morning. If you're in a great mood, you will produce great results. You will have a great day, I promise you. The better your attitude, the better results you produce. The better your attitude, the better you can handle your day overcome and thrive through the challenges and difficulties that today, tomorrow, next week, next year will come your way. So get yourself in a great mood. Do whatever it takes to get that feeling first thing in the morning, whatever works for you. Meditation, maybe reading, uh, I don't know, gratitude, music, uh, watching my videos, exercise. These are all good options uh, that get you in that state of mind. When your mind is positive and clear, you can handle just about anything, can't you? And when you can face challenges with a clear mind, uh, they lose their power, they no longer halt your progress, they no longer have a strangle on your day or your life. That negativity will be washed away because today is a new positive day. You simply choose the best way to move forward and you move on. Most people don't start their days like that, but you're different. Most people aren't happy, but you're different. Don't be like most people. Be yourself. Be the minority. Be who you are. Be who God created you to be, that masterpiece. The minority who start their day with positive expectations are the winners. With an amazing attitude and a belief that today is going to be an amazing day, you are a winner. Look at yourself in the mirror and repeat to yourself, today is going to be a great day. No matter what happens, today I will see the good in anything and everyone. No matter what happens, I will do the right thing. No matter what happens, I will give my all today. Today, I will give my best so that tomorrow will be better. We all have the same amount of time uh, on earth, maybe not exactly in years, but a lifetime. 
But some people make the most of it and some people drudge through it. Make the most of your life. Live with a smile on your face. Believe that you are deserving of a great life that God gave you and get out and create that life. If you change your thinking, you can change your life. So how do you change your thinking? Well, how do you change your body? Think about that. You change the body by changing what you feed your body. You get it? You change your body by changing how you work your body. The same is true for your thinking. Change what you feed your thoughts. That's how it works. Feed it with positive affirmations and beliefs. Feed it with new knowledge on self-development. If you learn how to change, you will change. That I promise you. Work out your mind with books, with audiobooks, with videos, with tapes, audios that expand your existing mindset into something greater. Grow yourself by learning more. Grow yourself by doing the things successful people do. No matter what this day brings to you, my friends, could be a challenge, a miracle, an unexpected blessing, whatever it might be, be grateful for it. Affirm to yourself each and every day and repeat this. Today will be a great day. Something magical will happen today. Something truly amazing will happen today. Let today be the first day of a brand new start. Don't be afraid of missing out. Be afraid of being in the exact same place as you are a year from now, five years from now, ten years from now. Change that. If you're struggling to pay bills, struggling for energy, struggling to find that passion in your life, change it. Let today be a new beginning. Visualize what you are going to do today to get more out of your life tomorrow. Do it every day, and every day you will love the life you have created for yourself. Own your day by creating your day. Own it by creating and include God in each and every day Because God loves you and God gave you life and you are a masterpiece that God created. Start today creating a new life and we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Take good care. Bye-bye now.